said to her, I'm in trouble and pain. Every day's the same. I need help from you. She said to him, set your sail towards home, for the light I shine is reflecting you. And he sailed o'er the sea with the sun in the sky, and the moon came round and the clouds rolled by. Every day he looked out, set his heart on her, lighten up my mind, purify my soul. I call to you, amazing grace. Lay these burdens down before you. See all of me, all of me, all of me, all of me. Oh, oh. He said out loud, "I want you to be." My lighthouse guiding me home and free. In the darkest night, I can look towards you, find comfort in the light. The reply he heard is the light I shine is reflecting the light of you all the time. The light of me is the glory of you. If I'm a lighthouse, you're a lighthouse too. I call to you. Lay these burdens down before you. See all of me, all of me, all of me, all of me. Om Shanti. We go, we go bit by bit, little by little. I'm trying to tell you the way. We will be starting over it four times. Come on, out and see what we find. If it don't work once, try it again. Start all over. That is when we go. We go bit by bit, little by little, bit by bit, little by little. I wanted to know what life is all about. I climbed the road, and I found out. I wanted to see God in a different light. I wanted to find out just what was right. We go bit by bit. I heard a story about right and wrong, from sweet flute playing out in song. And after I heard it, now I understand that what went on was a part of the plan. We go bit by bit. So. All you know how I am writing now that I sung before I really can't allow because that was false. It really was an act, and now I follow everything I liked. We go bit by bit, little by little. The journey is gradual. It's a blissful journey. Of love and self-discovery. It's the blissful journey of understanding deeply one's connection with one's body. It's the blissful journey. To understand deeper, hidden, ununderstood emotions. Pranic journey is the journey of healing. The inner self is somewhere wounded and is bleeding. It is the journey of divine healing. The soul is wounded, and soul is bleeding. It is the journey of caring and dressing the wounds. We are into twenty-seventh day of this pranic journey. Many people attempt 
this pranic journey and try to become bradarian overnight but it is not like that cells take time to change body needs time for adaptation there is something known as the law of vital ad- adjustment the law of vital adjustment body can adjust to anything but it needs time it should be very systematic if you just rush it will not happen one step at a time you climb the mountain one dig at a time and the well is constructed one twig at a time and the nest is built one drop at a time and the lake is created one penny at a time and the piggy bank is full you cannot create jungle in one day one tree at a time and the forest is created one thought at a time one emotion at a time and a new mind is created but man is highly impatient as you know a devotee prays to god god give me patience but fast how much should i wait you know that every patient who comes to the doctor comes with three conditions first treat me in a second i have no time second it should be free of cost and third i will not change my habits these are the three impossible conditions patient comes with these things and every patient feels that i am more serious they don't like to wait outside joking we one brother tells there was some brahma kumari sisters he took them to the hospital and they were sitting there waiting for the their turn to come and suddenly a serious patient entered on a stretcher and he was taken straight inside so they were waiting for one hour <laughs> and that brother was the staff in the same hospital and those were sisters so they were <laughs> angry and they said what how come this patient went inside so the brother said because he is serious so they said are we less serious the journey is by and by gradual people enter into because nowadays lot of books are written on pranic living pranic consciousness bradarian it's a new fad which has come up in the last decade or so way back when it was started there were hardly anybody has heard the term the first time it was heard in hotima hilton's book man's higher consciousness man's higher consciousness i think this is the best book ever written and everybody of you should go and read this book it's known as man's higher consciousness by hotima hilton he has given such beautiful things in this book it's published in 19 it's old book but it is said to be the foundation man's higher consciousness he's written many good things so it began all the way from there but this concept is very 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 old 
it has been going on since the starting of copper age you have heard about giribala who was without food and water for 60 years the mention of teresa newman in autobiography of a yogi by swami yogananda where she just survived on eucharist for 40 50 years and there are so many examples in india so many and recently the one who died pralab jani so there were many like that so man's higher consciousness what is mahiltone but there were not much science associated with that then came wiley brooks who was interviewed in 1983 it's incredible first time he mentioned about it and then came the grandmother of bradarianism jasmine from australia and from there the movement spread like anything every, everywhere or across the world at present there are about 30 40000 people following this but there are many books and people try to attempt this and they suffer because they read and they feel it is an overnight journey it's not like that it's very gradual very slow and as i said it is not the journey of diet or detox or food or getting rid of some disease it's a spiritual journey because food is the china wall between soul and body if you want to become soul conscious you cannot become soul conscious unless and until you understand your relationship with food it is not that you eat anything any time and in whatever quantity you want and you become spiritual you we don't eat from outside people food made by other people's hand we don't eat onion and garlic and we don't eat non vegetarian but what you are eating vegetarian okay but is it free from all the defects it's a journey of understanding how much i need the lesser i need the powerful i become the more i need the less powerful i become so it's a journey to understand so many people as i said attempt very fast and they end up in starvation cravings dehydration even death tragic deaths even have happened so the journey should be very very gradual there is one person son fire jerome son fire he says jerich son fire he says spend at least 5 years first in vegan or vegetarian diet and then shift to then only shift to next 5 years on raw vegan and then shift to 5 years on fruitarian or liquidarian and the next step is bradarian genesis sulfide so it will be very gradual journey the people who say 10 years 15 years but every experience of every bradarian is different and every year they hold pranic festival let us festival festival was in rome romania so many people come together and they share their experiences and every person's experience is so different and it is not that these are spiritual people but they become spiritual in the journey gradually because the more you work on food automatically all other addictions come under control automatically your emotions come under control automatically your body consciousness go down and as a side effect you get rid of your diseases a very small side effect you get rid of all the pharmacy all the doctors all the procedures all the bills and so on that's a very small side effect of this journey because 
you are coming close to nature and we are born perfect our body doesn't need anything but the present man is the degenerate descendant of the original brahmarian lifestyle when the man first descended on this earth as a deity he did not need anything there was no need of anything he survived on pure breath of life even if he ate it was not for need it was enjoyment gradually he deteriorated very very gradual deterioration happened and deterioration started from the very first day of golden age golden age and silver age the deterioration happened very fast here why the deterioration started from copper age the reasons are two one body consciousness and second eating cooked food rather it is because of cooked food that body consciousness came and why the body consciousness came another reason is rebirth why the soul became impure because of two reasons because of rebirth and because of cooked food the test of food and fall of man the test of lust and fall of man so gradual fall happened and it was very very gradual nobody even realized just as vices they enter so gradually very in a small manner we don't even recognize that this is a vice unless we are caught unawares unless it becomes it takes a huge mammoth form a small thought a small thought leads to body consciousness it is like diamond hall you know diamond hall how many windows are there how many doors are there hmm 54 for example all the doors of the diamond hall are closed okay and there is a wind and storm tempest outside but you feel one door should be kept open what will be the problem let me keep one door open so the storm will enter through enter through that one door in the similar manner you feel this thought is a very small thought every day i do amrit vela let me take rest today otherwise also i am feeling little feverish and doctor also told yesterday take rest and baba also i told last night only while sleeping and i will try to attempt amrit vela while sleeping only because i am deeply connected with him and i don't want to make show off also going outside and letting people know that see i am there this is incognito yoga yoga in the quilt so you try to so these are all the ways and means of maya maya is a rat baba says maya is rat so gradually the body consciousness entered by eating this and eating that and gradually the man was trapped so what should we do in order that this journey becomes blissful and anybody who attempts this journey and he is focused only on food eating this and eating not not eating this he cannot become pranic pranic journey is a holistic approach everything should be included in that then only you can become an automatically you will find one day that your appetite has reduced and yet you are full of energy reduction of appetite is not uh, something that it is not a benchmark for becoming brahmarian why we are so much focused in this journey because we have understood that what we eat we become how we eat we become and we have tried all other methods to change sanskars let us try this new fangled new method 
of changing our sanskars, our thoughts, our mind, our emotions, our addictions. And we come to the realization that when food changes, everything changes. All memories will change, everything will change. You will enter, you will have a new body, a new energy as if which was trapped, is released. Suddenly you have become powerful. Suddenly the mind has become so clear and clarity has come upon you. New thoughts are coming, new methods of yoga, new gyan, new yoga, new dharna, new seva, new ideas. Because your gut, your intestine was blocked. The moment intestine is cleared, mind becomes clear. The first criterion for Raj Yoga is clean stomach. Clean stomach will lead to clean mind. So, bit by bit. So do not... What are the things we need to do? First, without connecting with nature, you cannot become pranic. This may involve even change of your job and change of your place. If you are living in a highly polluted metro cities and urban cities, and now you have to take a call. How long I want to continue this lifestyle? If I want to come very close to nature and I want to understand and experience this deeper level of soul consciousness, it is not going to happen by lecturing. It is not going to happen by reading a lot of books and murlis. It is not going to happen by listening a lot of classes. It is not going by, to happen by sitting and increasing your timing of yoga. Something else is needed. Something which was never attempted before. And that something is moving close to nature. Increasing pranic activities. Understand your relations with nature. Have a deep internal dialogue with nature. Because when you go in a crowd of people, you lose. When you go in cl close to nature, you gain. Here there are voices and words and noise and cacophony. Here there is silence and solitude and peace and harmony and beauty. When you are sitting on the top of a mountain, you are close to yourself. Spend 8 hours in nature all alone and see what happens. By the end of the day, you are so peaceful and so calm. You have to take out inter time and take out periods of intermittent silence and solitude. You cannot become total 100% sannyasi and go and sit in some jungle. But whatever time is available, in between, steal the time and spend alone. Go on the terrace, go in the garden, go in the forest, in areas where nature is in its full beauty, pristine beauty. Some lake, some mountain, some waterfall, some sea, river, she seashore, lake, something, somewhere. So move close to nature and you become natural. Move close to nature and you understand now you don't want to eat much. You are already full because you are full of prana. Because nature, all those places are so full of pranic energy. So when your whole body, is, that pranic flow established within you, now you don't need anything. You need very less. So anybody who attempts to become Brotherian and without moving towards nature will fail. Will meet with starvation, dehydration and death. Because they will only focus on fasting. The second thing is, unless and until meditation is the foundation, this lifestyle is not possible. Because this is not about eating this or eating that. It is not about detox, it is not about nature cure, it is not about getting rid of disease, it is not about I want to become thin, I am gaining weight or I am thin, I want to gain weight it is not about, it is not a weight loss journey or weight gain journey it's a journey into higher consciousness so meditation is the foundation without becoming spiritual 
without having that spiritual guidance and connection with spiritual energies you cannot become pranic third exercises loosening exercises our every our body is filled with chakras not the seven chakras but every joint is a chakra and we are energy beings and energy loves to move there should be movements every day the movement could be yoga asana movement could be yoga movement could be tai chi qigong anything it could be dance also and you should be engaged in lot of other pranic activities if you are only focused on very narrow minded thing you are living a urban lifestyle you get up in the morning do amrit vela listen to murli rush to your work whole day you work evening little bit yoga and then go off to sleep this is not a pranic lifestyle this is not a pranic lifestyle pranic lifestyle is something where you spend time more and more in silence in solitude in reconnecting with yourself so meditation exercise very important for this journey without that it is not possible other thing is without which this journey is impossible is mind mastery it's a reprogramming it is not it is a mental reprogramming you have to change your belief systems here we have been loaded with so many belief system eat drink milk otherwise you will not become strong if you don't eat you will die these are the belief systems if i don't eat this i will suffer from nutritional deficiencies these are the belief systems i don't like this because if i eat this i will suffer from allergies every time i have attempted raw diet i suffered so i never give i gave up once and for all these are the mindsets this doesn't suit me that doesn't suit me so it's a mental mastery it's a reprogramming here re attempt retry understand another thing is fasting yes even though we say it's not a fasting journey but fasting is very needed very much necessary at least our body should get habituated to what is fasting see what happens you fast for 24 hours without food without water dry and then see how powerful you have become or go for water fasting sometimes go for juice fasting sometimes go for fruits only sometimes sometimes go for mono diet you keep on playing all the time playing with liquids sometimes soup sometimes smoothies sometimes cooked liquids sometimes some salty smoothie you try everything it is the journey you try and then you decide and then you reject or accept don't say i will stop eating this and stop eating that you try everything but gradually you come to the conclusion yet this is for me or not for me try omd sometimes one meal a day and then see what happens it's a revolution in the days of fasting you will be more close to baba why christianity and all religion have got so much importance for fasting why jesus was fa- fa- kept fasting for 40 days why moses also was fasting because it's a spiritual phenomenon it keeps you very close to god it takes you towards the kingdom of god it under it makes you understand your whole body you are addicted to digital things be on a fast on that day of fasting you don't want to open any app you feel she is my best friend and he is my best friend and i can't live talking without him so your boyfriends and girlfriends will change in the fasting day you will understand that this is a this was just a infatuation this was just a physical tickling and physical sensation nothing else it was not love keep on saying i love you i love you all the time two persons keep on sending messages i love you 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 okay that's fine now do fasting <laughs> i hate you go away <laughs> you understand the worthlessness then again start eating cooked food next day again i love you <laughs> so it is the food which is deciding you love or you hate so when you are on cooked diet 
you are body conscious and you come down when you go on raw or fasting stage on juices you are at higher consciousness only baba all the world is nonsense get lost so it is the food which is deciding whether you love or not attempt this try this and then see what happens keep playing playing with juices playing with fruits playing with vegan playing with raw and sometimes suddenly take unhealthy diet sandwich and pizza and then the suffer the whole night and then you understand oh this is the only right path this is my experience now because i ate that my amrit vela was disturbed unusual times of eliminating mode and irritations and burping and acidity and gases and vomiting and heart burns and headache <laughs> and lose motions and admissions in the hospitals and those lines and drains and pricks and blood tests you have to go through this this is needed that's why they say in the pranic journey one must eat unhealthy diet once in a while to learn to suffer and to experience and then to make new conclusions that this diet is not for me my diet consists of juices and fruits and vegetables and soups very very lighter ones so gradually it's a journey from vegan first to vegetarian those who are vegetarian are very proud always they say we are vegetarian we don't eat food made by non bkes they are agyanis but when they become vegan they say shame on your false vegetarianism because you are still killing somebody So it's a vegan, and then gradually raw, and then gradually fruits, and then liquids, and you keep playing with liquids all the time. You know you are liquid being. I don't need anything more than liquids. So this journey will take you to a next level of consciousness. So it should be gradual. So fasting once in a while. To begin with, you can start with one fasting once in a week, twenty-four hour fast once in a week. once a week that's the journey as i had said there is an international group weekly fasting group it's a non bk group but many people attempt today it will start evening or afternoon they will fast friday evening friday noon till saturday noon 24 hours so those you want to join they can join that group hmm world festival it's in italy okay so there are groups international groups and people keep on experimenting and see what happens these are not bks or spiritual people but they are from all over the world and they will write what fasting they are doing what sort of fasting they like if you see there are so many somebody will do dry somebody will liquid somebody will do water somebody will do so many different different methods these are just the journey so you begin at least with this attempt do something new and then see so it's bit by bit gradually process because you need to train your body your mind and see the responses what happens you may have to take help of colonics and enemas and so many other things and you will learn so many things about your own body how it works what happens what happens when i fast what is my amrit vela when i am on cooked diet what is my amrit vela when i am on juices what is the level of my stage what is my stage what is my churning everything will become so what is how is the sleep so these are very closely connected things these are the things that will take make us more and more pranic so fasting is also important thing mixing with a group of people of same minded that only will help you in your journey it's a others experience of other people will boost you it's it's like somebody has shares his experience that i have done this you also learn from that you get inspired i i can also do and then see and do so it's a journey of experimentation it's a journey of experience it's gradually you move bit by bit okay so let's begin the journey
We go bit by bit, little by little. I'm trying to tell you the way we are starting over 24, 84 times. Come on out and see what we find. If it don't work once, try it again. Try, start all over. That's when we go bit by bit. Om Shanti. Tvameva mata chapita tvameva Tvameva bandhush chasakha tvameva Tvameva vidya dravinam tvameva Tvameva sarvam mama deva deva I feel I'm alive deep in the woods.